Hello plant people. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I've got my alocasias with me and we are going to talk about all things alocasias. I'm just going to show you my little collection and I hope you enjoy it. So I will start with the ebony. This is an alocasia ebony. Look at the veins on that plant. It is just, it's really glorious. It's living in lecker. It's got a new leaf coming through there and you can see the little roots coming through there and yeah ebony is a happy bunny this one is an alocasia poly or amazonica living in lecker as well look at the roots that she's got she's really really happy i got this one as a corn actually and it's 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 doing really really well i just love what that looks like can't wait for it to get bigger this one is my silver dragon just look at the scaliness of the leaves it's it's just absolutely glorious but what's really good as well is look at what that back looks like the back of those leaves are just so sexy. That is the definition of bringing sexy back. Um, this one's also living in Lekka. And the thing I really love about alocasias is how the root systems just take off. Look at that. It's just doing so, so well. And it's really happy. There's two plants in here. This is a very young plant and I can't wait for it to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's just going to be really, really awesome. And here is my dragon scale. Look at that. Does that not look like one of the Khaleesi's dragons? It's just, it's, it's absolutely glorious. This plant is multi-planted as well. There's two plants in there and it's, it's, it's a small plant. It's, it's a young plant. That's a new leaf coming through there. Look at those roots. Just look at that root system. It's just bursting. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's glorious. Glorious, glorious dragon scale. Next one. She needs no introduction. That is a mellow, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of the most gorgeous plants I've ever seen. And it, the leaves feel like cardboard. They literally feel like cardboard. When I got this plant, my 13-year-old son thought it wasn't real. It's just that spectacular. Young plant again. And oh, I can see some corns in there. I don't know if you can see them. I see two. One. And there's another one right there. So those will be new plants. Yeah, I'm loving, 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 loving this. So that's my Alocasia Mellow another really special one I love this one this is a scalp room look at those leaves just the texture is absolutely amazing and what's really special about this plant is look at this one I've got a variegation on one of the leaves unfortunately this didn't continue for my new leaf but you know if it can give me one maybe it can give me another one sometimes sometime this one is also double planted so there's two plants in there and it's a young plant but look at those roots just look at how those roots are going it's, it's just absolutely spectacular um i don't see any corms i don't see any obvious corms in here but look at her she's just brilliant that's the new leaf you can see it's a bit of a lighter green as the leaf matures it gets a bit darker and looks like that it's just so that's new leaf old leaf it's it's really brilliant you can't alocasias and just the best this is my black velvet so there's two plants in this black velvet so this black velvet was a lot lot bigger than this and this is why it's in a bigger pot than the others and it was a lot bigger it had lots of uh leaves and then it started to give me flowers it wanted to reproduce um i hadn't seen allocated flowers before so i let them develop and yeah that, that was clearly a mistake on my part um because then all the leaves dropped off and you know it just was not very happy 
uh, but eventually it started to give me leaves again. So this is the first leaf I got from this alocasia after it had its little flowering hissy fit because I wouldn't allow it to reproduce. And I've got a new leaf there. And this is the second plant. So yeah, this, this one's doing well as well. Um, look, at the, look at the roots. You can see the roots. This is the thing I love about clear pots. You just have a 360. You completely see everything that's going on with your plant. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Now, ooh, this is another of my special ones. This is the nebula. Look at those leaves. Doesn't that look like something that belongs in outer space? It's just fantastic. And look at how you've got those little black dots on the stems. It's brilliant. This one's coming up. There's a new leaf coming up there. You can see that there. I hope you can see it. And just look at, look at that. Look at the roots. The roots are just, you know, off the chain. So this actually sits in the reservoir. So this, this, these are all water roots that grown in water. It's quite happy to sit in the reservoir. And this is one of my best performing alocasias. Just look at her. She is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely magical. I love you, alocasia nebula. This one is my pink princess. You know, it's got little pink stems. They're so cute. And this is the biggest leaf I've got so far. And yeah, this one is also double planted. So yeah, the only way is up for this one. Look again, look at the roots. Roots are just crazy. I love alocasias because of this. Um, yeah, what can I say? Oh, another one of my special ones. You all know what this one is. This is my green velvet new leaf on the green velvet coming up there. This plant, uh, there's another new leaf over there. This plant is also double planted. So I've got two plants living in here and it is a happy Larry. Look at those roots. It is enjoying life. And yeah, I can't wait for it to get bigger and bigger and bigger. I just want those leaves to become as big as my head. That would be fabulous. Now, oh, the pièce de résistance. That is my red secret. Look, that leaf is really bigger than my face. It's fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Look at those roots. It's just, this plant is just going from strength to strength to strength. There's two plants in here. And I really want it to be so bushy. I'm actually directing the direction of these leaves. So you've got that, um, I've got that plant tie there. I want all the leaves to face this direction. So when a leaf comes out, I tie it and I make it go this way because I won't be able to hold it like this and I want it to just look majestic. <sighs> Can't wait for this to get bigger. But what is even more special about this plant is the back of those leaves take a look how glorious is the back of the red secret it's 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 a red secret it, it's literally a red secret guys you cannot make this stuff up it's yes 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 these are all my alocasias my alocasia well i actually do have a sabrina sabrina's huge so i'm not going to bring it out today because it will just take over and I've got nowhere to put it. But these are my alocasias. They're all living in a semi-hydroponic setup. They live in Lekka. I feed them growth technology foliage focus. They're happy. I do have them living in my grow tent though. And in my grow tent, they've got about 70% humidity and they've got light for about 12 hours. And I think that keeps them very, very happy. Yeah, so do you have any favorite allocations you have a favorite out of the ones i've shown you please let me know thank you for watching until next time when we talk about another plant type thanks bye